Alright guys, let's just get right into this, alright? I want to start off by saying this is going to be a little bit of a different video, guys. And guys, I'm here to support my boy DK. You already know he's going up against Nick Ireland, guys. The Ireland Brothers. Now, as you guys know, come the Ireland Brothers, there's two of them, okay? There's Nick Ireland and there's Ricky Ireland, alright? So listen, before even me, like, attending this place to support DK, I had... Full respect for both brothers, okay? I always have full respect for any creator, you know, any creator who's doing their thing. I have fully and utter respect for them, okay? I still, however, have respect for Nick. Nick, if you're watching this, I have full respect for you. You know, you've been nothing but humble this whole entire time. Uh, you and DK, you know, it's gonna be a good matchup, and I'm excited to watch the fight. On the other hand, guys, the other brother, Ricky, okay, I don't know what his deal is, but listen, if you guys know me, I'm not really somebody to start, like, the fight, you know what I'm saying, or, like, start the whole, like, scene, but when somebody starts yapping their mouth or calls me out, that's when I step in and I defend my ground, okay? My entire life, you know, I've been kind of, like, pushed around based on my size, and that's the reason why I got into wrestling at a really young age. I played double-A, triple-A hockey my entire life, so my whole entire life, like, I've been in really physical combat sports, okay? Not because, you know, I've been pushed around and all that kind of stuff, but, you know, wrestling, having a wrestling background, a really high-level skill wrestling background, and, you know, obviously playing triple-A hockey, double-A hockey, obviously, you know, that helped to defend myself over the years, uh, and I've always been able to back up what I say, but listen, this kid Ricky, guys, okay? Let's just, let's just get right into this, all right? Because, you know, this, this Ricky guy is a f***ing character. Let's get into this. Yeah. They call me the prince, but I feel like a king. What do I look like? Like he shouldn't be talking at all. He just seems a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'll step in the ring with this guy right here. No, you won't. On God, bro. On no, God. I'll put money on that boy. Here's the bitch. Here's the bitch. Here's the bitch right now. Certified. Certified. It's right here. I think we're gonna pull up on Goosey. I think DK is gonna talk to him for a little bit. You already know what I'm saying. Let's go tap in with that. Like I'll two piece him right now. Like right now. Oh, so you got that pre-fight energy right there. Like he shouldn't be talking at all. He's just he's a little boy. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Just call him little. Well, I just told his brother. I was like, cause it, he was telling me that you're chatting in his DMs, the little brother's DMs. Yeah, cause he keeps him right there. He keeps mentioning me, and he's not even fighting. Hey, yo, I ain't talking to you. I was talking to him. I was talking to you. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I want you. I want you to see. Yo, I got. I got kicked out at the gym. Yo, I'll step in the ring. No problem. Bro, I'll step in the ring with this guy right here. No, you won't. On God, bro. On God. I'll put money on that fight. This ain't my fight though. This, this DK's fight. This DK's fight. So I'm gonna hold back. I'm gonna hold back. I'm gonna hold back. I can set that up in two seconds. Yo, on God, Fusi, if you can, I'd appreciate you. I would appreciate you. Was he up them too? Yeah, yeah. I would appreciate that. When? Whenever he wants. I'll do it right after this. One more thing I wanted to address because I know a lot of you are gonna be watching this and say, isn't this the guy who got pushed by Bryce Hall on the ropes? Take this in, okay? Prior to me going to that gym, I never, I never ever announced this on social media because I honestly thought he was just a total fraud, bro. Like, I just thought it was funny, so I never addressed it. But you know, now that I'm here, I might as well address it because I know there's gonna be a lot of comments about, isn't this the guy who got pushed by Bryce? Prior to me going to that gym, Taylor called up DK and said, yo, get your boy Justin to pull up to the gym. We don't want to fight, uh, we just want to squash the beef and uh, let Bryce and Stromedy squash the beef in the ring. DK calls me up and goes, yo Justin, pull up to the gym, there's going to be no beef, they want to squash the beef, and Bryce and Kyle, they're going to get in the ring and they're going to do their thing. I'm like, yo, dude, I'm out for dinner with my girl right now, I can't really come, I'm busy, like, what, you guys are going right now? And he's like, yeah, we're going right now, so pull up. So I pulled up, bro, I just came from dinner, literally in like some whack ass air forces and this guy randomly when i get in there I, i'm cool i'm calm i'm collected i thought we were just gonna squash the beef by talking and all of a sudden like six cameras around me get whipped up fusi's like right beside me 
and Bryce starts like screaming his face off with like veins popping out of his neck. I'll post that right here. And yeah, he started calling me out. He's like, yo, like get in the fucking ring. I don't fucking like you, all that shit. And then Fousey's there and he's like, yo, you're gonna get knocked the f out. And at the time, you know, I was like, whoa, Fousey's attacking me too? And Fousey, I actually had this conversation with you that, you know, I was, I was caught off guard when you called me out on that. And I'm not gonna lie, for a second, you know, I was like, oh shit, like, yo, Bryce looks like kind of intimidating. You know, he's got veins popping out of his neck. Like, he looks like he's about fighting. Like, he looks like a fighter. And I gave him the benefit of the doubt. But the matter of the fact is, he's just not. So, like, I actually wish I did get in the ring because I probably would have him up. But yeah, there was a whole bunch of other stuff that happened prior to me even entering that ring. We were supposed to get the footage for that fight. Uh, his team promised us getting the footage. We ended up never getting the footage. So basically, you know, it was just like, it was just a giant setup to make us look bad for like his, his fight coming up with McBroom. Like for all the fans who are watching, now you know. Me getting pushed was a setup. I then reached out to Bryce that exact same night and I said, yo, if you're actually about fighting, then I'll get in the ring. We'll set something up. And he said, I'm down. Let's spar. A few days later, I set up a fight at Dog Pound. Never replies. I'll actually post all the text messages from me and Bryce so you guys know I ain't capping. I'm not going to show you his number, but, uh, you know, if anybody wants to confront me and see this conversation in person, I'm more than happy to show you. But anyways. This guy's a clown, bro. This guy's a clown. Exactly. This guy's a straight clown, bro. Dude, this guy wants a fucking fight, but he won't fight. You keep walking away, bro. You keep walking away. So fucking bitch, bro. Kid keeps pulling up everywhere we go, but then he just walks away. Bro, he walks away every single time. Dude, this kid fucking walks away every fucking time. He walks away every fucking time. You walk away every. Time. I'm just wondering, he didn't make it either. He was two pounds under. No, you have to be under 185. Guys, yo, relax. listen to this guy. Listen, Bro, why is it a problem? Why is it a problem? It's not a problem. Okay. I'm just you're making sure it's not a problem. Post it on my right now. Post it. I'll post it on my You better post it. Right yeah, I will. You don't know how to stop eating. That's all it is. This kid's a. Bro, who the f are you, bro? Who the f are you, bro? Who the f are you, bro? Guys, this Ricky kid, dude, isn't even fighting in this whole thing. And he's been running his mouth the whole time. Yo, I already called him out myself. His bro's fighting DK. I told him to step in the ring with me. All he does is run his fing mouth. He doesn't wait, do hold shit. On, hold on, hold on, wait. Bro, okay, yo. So Ricky pulls up. He's not fighting, right? He calls out DK and says, You can't stop fing eating. I called Ricky out yesterday. I said, Get in the fucking ring. You talking bear shit. Clearly, you want to get in the ring. So get in the fing ring. Let's go back over there and talk to him. They were saying that he didn't make weight. No, nah. dude, he's like, he's like, he didn't make weight. Like, no, dude, he runs in on his interview and shit. Yeah, yo. I was about to punch him square in the yo. face, but I knew I would get kicked out. Yeah, read on it. So therefore, I made it. Like, we're fighting, that's it. Here's the bitch. Here's the bitch. Here's the bitch right now. Yeah, that's why I thought you are a fucking bitch, bro. You're a bitch, bro. Yo, Fousey, Fousey set it up. Now it's in your court. So what is it? What is it? What is it? You're not about it? Dude, you're not about fighting, right? You're not about ten fighting. You're not ba ten bands, ten right bands now, bro. Is a lot about, to you. That's you nothing to me, bro. I got thirty thousand on my wrist right now, wow. bro. You think I give a f about ten bands on the wrist? Spit on me, bro. bro. You're spraying. Bro, you think I give a oh, fuck bro. if I spit on you, bro? If you spit on me again, I will punch you in the face right now. Punch me in the fucking face right now, bro. Punch me in the fucking face. We'll see. I'll fucking hey, let me get my phone. Let me get my phone. Walk away, bro. Certified, guys. That's what you get. Certified, right here. A fucking certified, certified. So then what, what is it? Why didn't you tell me that So before? what is it? I am right now. You're shaking a you, lot, you, didn't, bud. you didn't ask me. You're shaking you, a lot, you, didn't, bud. you didn't ask me. You're shaking you, a lot, you didn't, bud. you didn't ask me. You're stupid. You're not a fighter. Are you a fighter? You're yes five, or no? Six, one fifteen. Are you a you fighter? Yes or no? Grade, bud. Bro, are you a you fighter? Yes or no? Videos. Are you are you a fighter? Oh, so you've never you've never filmed a haunted video? Never never fake the video. Bro, oh, alright, yo guys. Every, every video you've ever filmed is real. Yo guys, pop tag right here of a haunted video. Wait, pop it right here. My man right here said he can set up this fight. Alright? You you've been yapping, bro. I will break your damn nose. The thing is, I can't believe. 
believe I'm under no, your skin my, this month. My whole life tripled. Because like, I don't I, care. I rip people's helmets off, punch people's faces. I don't, bro. Bro, I'm giving you fights. Bro, I'm doing the fight for like I'm separated. Did, did you have just 40 like, street like you, fights? This is you when you film your video. 40 street. <laughs> that's not. That's not real. Oh my god. <laughs> Keith, how's it yeah, going, dude? Hey, the last well, thing listen. I want to do is break up this amazing <laughs> battle. But we have got our guys that are getting ready to weigh in. So guys, those are important ones. Anyways, I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end it right here because the weigh-in's about to happen. If you're about fighting, step in the ring, brother. If you're about it, if you're about it, I, I told you, bro. I put money on that shit. If you got bread, put it up. Don't ever step up on me Watch like that with your stupid ass pajamas. Right but anyways, guys, listen, as you guys saw all that commotion, all that funny, good stuff, I hope you guys found that entertaining as much as I did. But listen, you know, Ricky, you were yapping your mouth the whole entire time. You know what I'm saying? I called you up. I went outside. I confronted you. Clearly, you're not about it. Clearly, you're not a fighter. I asked you. You didn't really answer my question. You totally disrespected my boy DK while he was doing his own interview, bro, on national TV. Like, you don't disrespect a homie like that. Like, if you disrespect my boy like that, dog, I'm gonna pull up on you and I'm gonna I'm call your shit out. I don't care if you don't think I'm clouded enough or whatever. Like, if 300,000 followers isn't enough for you to react to me, then sick, dude. But yo, like, I'm still gonna confront you about the situation. So, Fusi, if you're watching this or anybody else who's watching this, if you guys wanna set up a fight with me and Ricky, Yo, set it up, because the fans want to see it. So listen, if you're really about fighting, if you're really about this life, if you got some crazy background fighting experience that I'm not aware of, then by all means, bro, I'll hush up, be quiet, I'll walk out that door. Another thing I wanted to address, because I know that you keep calling me out on how like I was shaking and stuff, and you could probably still see that, but you guys, I've never really addressed this to you guys, but yes, there you go, the secret's out of the bag. I'm epileptic, I got seizures, I've had it my entire life. You guys could roast me for it if you want, but you know, I'm I'm totally like not insecure about it. You know, people made fun of me for having epilepsy, all that stuff, having seizures, you know? And you know what, it's normal. It's totally normal, guys. So if you're out there and you suffer from epilepsy, you suffer from seizures, guys, yo, your boy's got it too. So look at me, you know, I'm doing all right. But yeah, if you're really about that fighting life, Ricky, which I know you're not, then come on, let's run it. Let's run it. Always down for a good punch in my face. Always down to give somebody a good punch in their face.